prominent Wario and Meta Knight actually as well. Like he's been, I was talking to him today early, like he's been getting really good results at stuff like DNA or Platinum Star or Forge. Uh, really like the New Jersey weeklies and monthlies and like he he even doesn't know like what's happening He's like I know I don't know what's happening right now I'm just doing really well and he is and I'm really excited to finally like see it King Ark also I definitely know that King Ark is a well-known Mega Man in New York And so as this is also my first time actually being able to see him to play as I can't travel to New York as much You know I'm wondering here right the Wario and Mega Man are both characters that um, You know I don't want to say aren't popular but they're Kind of on, on the lower end, right? I feel like Wario definitely has a lot more representation. You have Tweet, you have Gucci, um, Mega Man, you have people like, uh, I guess, like Fluff. Uh, even Mars has a Mega Man as well. Um, but in terms of, like, when you're looking at top base and stuff, Mega Man especially, you don't see super as no. much. Wario does get that representation, though. I think Wario is actually, like, no one expected Wario. I think, like, going in, like, when you, especially towards the start, when you thought about characters that would definitely be up there, like, I don't think anyone thought Wario. I think really when Tweak pulled it out at Let's Make Moves, I think that really, like, shined where Wario was going to be. And, like, I think Wario is definitely among, like, the top ten in this game currently. I think the character is super impressive, super good frame data, super fast, like, even fast for uh, the way he is. Like, he's the same weight as Ridley in this game. And you like you gotta think if this if the player plays him right, Wario doesn't have to play a third stop. Yeah, and the other thing about Wario as well is that he kind of like he's just quick. Oh my god, and he's duck. But, yep, uh, yep. but like he doesn't have an aerial that comes out. I believe later than frame nine. You know no. what I mean? Like all, all of them come out frame nine or earlier. Yeah, and that's you're crazy. You're absolutely right. right. Like he, uh, every single move is that fast. Are you kidding me? But. In the same vein, he does struggle a little bit uh, in having options at low percents, right? He wants to go for like, he has to do like the latest fair to get a conversion. You'll find that toward the earlier percents, he'll do a move and often get punished for hitting someone. Right now, Bloon just needs to find a way to kill, especially after that early, early death. He needs to find a way to get back in here. Wow, Ooh. good job there. I like that, perfectly times that four till I believe to close out the KO. But, you know, we're going to see if who did do much, right? And shouldn't he have Waft by now? Did he use Waft? I didn't know. No, no, he no he's, he's blinking a little bit. Yeah. Okay, there we go. He has Waft. Yeah, so I would not use it now, though. I, I, like, it would really come down to, like, oh, oh no, he, he saved, saved him. him. See, I was going to say that situation I want to hold because I thought he was actually going to die. But, like, it really came down to if Clune can get enough percent down quickly because this will be almost immediate death in the third stock. Yeah, and even in that scenario, I don't even know if there's anything who could really do there because I believe he had just burned the bike. So if he didn't try to recover there, he just would have died himself. Um, but still, trying to make this comeback, does have the WAP on deck. He'll go ahead and throw the Metal Blade back at King Ark. But King Ark has just been doing such a good job of keeping him out. He even has a rush shot on deck there. He's just playing, looking for that final hit. That may do it. No. Air, air dodge in. Good job you waiting with the recovery and the jump as well. Oh. Tried to go for a little conversion there. we got to do something. That's going to take it. And now oh. this is a super dangerous situation. This is almost even right now. Almost. But the crazy part is, right, like he has to land double hits in air at low percent to confirm into anything. Or he has to land like a falling up air. Otherwise, if he starts going for fair yeah. out, he will get punished. Right? So he has to be so careful. Fire Blade almost killing at this point. Yeah, no, like a lot of moves in Mega Man's arsenal will be the death of Blue right now. Oh my gosh, this is super dangerous. All he needs to do is get close, and especially towards the side of the stage, this will end it. Yeah, he needs to land like a Nair or an up tilt. Like, definitely has setup. Oh god. That was scary. Down oh, air god. into, oh, try for the up tilt, try to get it. Tried to get the parry back here, but to no oh, avail. What the? He's trying to get, somehow this man is not dying. He's throwing out the littlest fourth match. Oh my goodness, the forward tilt not hitting. And now he's at 43. This is the perfect percent to get that up tilt and confirm the KO. He needs to watch the landing. Looking to find the way in, right on the bike. We ride it out. Oh, that's going to do it. Finally, finding the KO. Wow. But oh. I'm not playing this game. I'm literally just watching and talking about the game. And my god, my heart is racing. Well, I mean, I'm just here because toward the end of here, we never saw a clue go for any neutral like that's you know Wario's best option at yep. shield go for that nair it could lead into that WAP setup I really thought we were gonna see that but it seemed like he was too scared of maybe being anti-aired by a back air that he didn't just opt to do it so we kept seeing like falling up airs or like falling down airs and I was like man if one of those like down airs that he got was a falling up air that could have been the game who knows absolutely this was an absurdly oh. good play by King Arthur right there with that little spike with the down air 
You rarely, like, I don't know, I feel like Mega Man is, like, he has that spike, but I feel like players rarely bring that out, actually. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where, because everyone knows that Mega Man has it, they just opt not to recover yeah. low. You know what I mean? And especially covering from above, like, he can juggle you with the up air. Uh, maybe he'll hit you again off stage with the, the forward air, but largely in a part, you don't feel too threatened unless he's threatening his back air. Yeah. But, like, this this game is proving what I'm talking about with Clune. Like, Clune is a little underrated, in my opinion, and he's a super dangerous player. Super young, too. Very young uh, player. We're going to actually take Nova now. I actually really really think this is a good pick. I think this is one of Wario's better stages, honestly. I think this stage will really help Clue now. I'm not sure how it works for Mega Man, though, honestly. Yeah, you know, that's going to be interesting to see as well, because Mega Man uh, occupies the horizontal plane yes. very well, right? Pilots, uh, Crash Bomber, Metal Blade, you name it. He can cover people running straight at him with the greatest of ease. But when it comes from the aerial approach, it can be a little bit more difficult. And I was talking about this uh, when I was doing my block with Hangman earlier on Nairo's stream. It's like his helmet, like that above and in front of him area is hard for him to contest quickly, right? Forward air takes a little bit too long to come out. His back air can take a little bit too long to come out. And he has to have his back turned even to have that option. So for who? Ooh, ooh, clap it up, baby. Clap That's exactly up. where he wants to be. He keep me out. He kept the jump. Oh, oh the parry, but not able to do anything. That down smash, I consider that to be one of the worst down smashes. I agree. Let's try it. Ooh. So oh, honestly, wow. like, I understand that it covered more options than possible than the rest of his moves. But I feel like maybe there was a better option. I don't know, though. And we're seeing a clue looking for the KO confirmed. Yep. We saw him go for the down tilt dash attack, which is a guaranteed kill confirm uh, that Wario has. But just at that percent, wasn't enough. Mega Man's just so heavy. But, I mean, he's a robot, dude. I wonder how many pounds he weighs. Like, I think King Arc is doing a really good job of just pressuring Luna now. Not really letting him get a lot of his out. Already at 52. He's using a really... He's using that leaf shield very well, actually. Getting... Most hits with the shield, actually. But KR also doing a really good job of always keeping the jump, always ready with an air dodge to get back to stage. Understanding that Kloon is going to just sit there and wait with that ledge coverage. Doing a really good job of getting back with that dash attack. Going to take it. Kloon at 79%. Got a little ways to work, but this is out of the running just yet. Yeah, we saw it even in that game one. He never did have the chance to let the wall rip. And we are, what, six? Oh, deuces. Again! Second game in a row where Kloon dies to that down air spike from Mega Man. And just by the timing of the game itself, you know, probably he needs one more minute uh, to really have a fully charged yeah. waft on deck. And, you know, with he that said... He has a full charged waft on Oh, does he? Oh, he's looking good. Yeah. He's looking good. Will it be enough? I don't know, man. I mean, just look at him. Back air coming out from... Uh, God, what's so again, King? I think I think this is a situation where Kloon just needs to be really like he needs to pressure King Arc hard. Wow, look at that! Dash hit you with the fight. but like he needs to just get a lot of pressure in and get a lot of damage. I think he can take the stock without the waft and save the waft for a last second stock and bring this to a possible game three. This is winners' quarters. Neither player will be immediately out, but I know neither of these players want to head down to losers. Oh no, oh, double up air, don't jump. Wow. Oh yeah, I have to be careful there, because if you jump during the up air, yep. you would just find yourself dying off the top, you really need to be careful. Back but air, Loon at 132, not a good situation here. Needs to find something. Ooh, okay, there we go. Uh, down tilt into side That's kill, oh man. Electro shot. And King Ark bringing that game to a 2-0 and knocking Loon down to losers. That was a pretty strong showing. Uh, Clue just, couldn't find the KOs, really, no. right? Uh, and even, I feel like the scenarios where Wario really shines is, is that juggling scenario, right? You get them above you and you start going for clap, 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 slap, slap, slap. Uh, and he just really wasn't able to get that scenario more than a, a few times throughout the set. I'm wondering at the end there what that dash attack into the bike was. I want to know like kind of like what he was thinking with that. Because mm. the dash attack kind of set him up for that with uh, the saw and then immediately into the smash sack. So I'm wondering what that was about. But still good showing from Kloon and good, very good showing from King Arc as he moves on to winner's semifinals here at Collision 2019. Man. I think he was trying to grab the bike out of his, uh, that's out what of I his dash. Uh, yeah. And then he didn't grab the bike. Instead, he just dashed he past just it. Ended up, yeah. yeah, that's why that's what I was thinking. That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate to see. But, guys, we're still moving on right here. My name is Drex. I'm joined by the amazing, the one and only Flambo. Flam Beezy. That is I in the flesh, melanin up and ready to go. We have ourselves quite the event. And, of course, you guys can't see from the streams. So I'll tell y'all. Uh, we got Evil holding it down with the controller modifications yeah. in the corner as well. 
And I know Steelix is here. I don't know if he has a booth or anything to sell merch, yeah. but he's been popping off as well. I've seen people like Vicky TK recently rock the merch. And of course, if you see on some of the slides, do we yeah. have a Steelix slide on this one? There we go, the Carnivore Collection. My man, help him. Coming yeah. out, letting y'all know. Um, which is just, it's just sick, right? I mean, look at it, right? He Doesn't has he a, have another collection? Like, he does have another up? collection, yeah. It has uh, the Tangled yeah. Collection, where he has the, uh, the controllers all wrapped around kind of like the arms of Krunet. Yeah, but guys, if you don't know what else is happening so far, we got stuff like Prime Saga coming up here. Prime Saga, uh, another 2GG saga happening in California, all about the Metroid characters. We actually got our own Tri-State Boy Juice going out possible. I believe he's in. I believe he's on.